My dear friends in the Lord, a blessed day. This is Father June Limbaga, and welcome to Encounter. In the Gospel passage today, the Lord tells the parable of the sower who scatters seeds everywhere. Usually, this Gospel invites us to reflect on our response to God as to what kind of soil we are or supposed to be for the seed which is the Word of God to grow. But today, let me digress by focusing on the way the sower, who is God, scatters the seed and its relevance in our life. If we come to think of it, this farming strategy of scattering seeds with such extravagance with no consideration of where the seed may fall, somehow makes no sense. Why doesn't the sower reserve the seed only for the rich, fertile soil? Why waste all that seed on what he knows is rocky, thorny, or barren soil? But Jesus reminds us that God scatters his word everywhere not only to manifest His generosity and abundance, but also the inclusivity of His love. The Lord is telling us that whatever your soil condition is, whatever your situation is, He has planted a seed of His Word, the seed of His love, with the possibility for new life, for the Word of God is alive. This parable of the sower invites us to hope amidst our rather hopeless situations. Even in our impossible circumstances, we have a God of possibilities. We might find ourselves in the rockiest situation because of our shaky relationship with our spouse or family members. We might find ourselves in a furnious situation because of the pain due to wounds inflicted on ourselves by people we love. We might find ourselves choked and overburdened in life due to financial stress or worries for our children or anxiety over our jobs. And yet, even then, even in all these situations, you may stumble on fertile ground that the seed that has carefully been placed by God will grow and give us the strength to go on. The difficulties of our human experiences should never discourage us to be patient and to be hopeful in the promise of God's Word. When our situation is immersed in hopelessness, when there seems to be no reason for something good in our life, God never fails to offer us a new life, for God's Word never fails. I met Rosa, who was in her late 60s during the wake mass of her husband, who died of cancer. During the dinner after mass, she shared to me that when she was pregnant of her third child, her husband left her for another woman. She pleaded for him to stay, but without mercy, he refused. She was left in so much pain and devastation. She raised all her children on her own. Then after 30 years, her husband reappeared and pleaded her to take him in. At the time, he was diagnosed with a malignant cancer, and with the burden of his situation, his mistress left him. Nowhere to go, he went to Rosa and begged for her mercy. Even with a heart that was so filled with anger, she took him in, in spite of her children's resistance. Day after day, his situation became worse. Yet day after day, 
she chose to serve him until the very last. When I ask her, how did you do that? How were you able to welcome him in and choose to love him in spite of the betrayal? Love your enemies. I took these words of Jesus by heart and I prayed for it day after day. And God gave me the grace to love him to the end. When we tap into the wellspring of God's love, even in the most angry heart, forgiveness can take place. This is another episode of Encounter. Thank you for finding the time to watch. May God continue to bless you and your loved ones. And always remember, God loves you just because.